Hi guys, it's Eric from the BVA BC, and today we're going to cover a video with you on a fire bow. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the parts of the fire bow and a little bit about the technique. Now this is a video that was shot back last summer of 2015 by our co-host Eddie the Yak. So uh, if you'll sit tight, we'll be back after these messages. Hi guys, this is Eric from the Wilderness Video Show, Bristol, Virginia Bushcrafting. Do you enjoy the great outdoors as much as we do? If so, stop by and see us online at bvabc.com. We'll see you there. Okay, now in this next clip, you're going to see that Eddie's using a fire bow. And uh, what he's going to do is he's going to try to start a fire using this for you guys, uh, the old primitive way. So uh, hang tight, and we'll talk a little bit about that with you. And let's get into the clip. Using a longer fire bow with even pressure on your spindle should be enough to create the friction you need for this task. Now in this next segment you're going to notice that uh, Eddie's finished with the fire bow and what he's doing now is he's actually nursing a tender bundle. And uh, we're going to explain a little bit about what a tender bundle is and uh, the kind of materials that go in the making one. So sit tight and let's watch this next clip. Now after creating an ember with your fire bow and spindle, you need to transfer this ember over to your tender bundle. Uh, the material that goes into making a tender bundle is pretty simple. This is usually anything from dried grass, dried pine needles, dried up leaves, paper, any lightweight material that's combustible. We recommend using dried grass, it's a lot easier to work with and it should catch fire pretty easy. Okay, so now that we know what a tender bundle is and uh, what materials go into making one, in this next segment we're going to cover uh, building your base layer and uh, getting that going before you actually add the bigger wood. So sit tight and let's check this one out. Once your tender bundle has ignited into flame, you're going to want to sit that on the ground and begin building a teepee over top of that bundle. This can be anything from smaller twigs finger sized sticks or tree bark. Now keep blowing on the tender bundle until the tree bark sticks and twigs catch fire. This is what's known as a base layer. Okay guys, that's it. So uh, now that you know how to use a fire bow and you've seen it in action, uh, we're going to get on out of here and we'll see you on the next video.